Welcome everybody. We are so excited to see you this morning. As you can see, a lot of people are joining us. So we're gonna give it just a minute or two. So um, everybody can like acclimate, join us for Teach for Antelope Valley. We're thrilled that you're here. Um, I'm hoping that everybody is in a situation where you're nice and comfortable, you're feeling relaxed. We've got a fantastic day ahead of us. As you can see, we've got more people joining. So I'm just gonna wait for a minute until everybody's um, in the space and we're all together. If you hadn't had a chance to mute yourself, we'd greatly appreciate it um, because we're, we've got a lot of us that are gonna be at Teach for LA today. So we are so, so, so happy to see you. I wanna start off by just introducing myself. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm so excited to be here. My name is Renee Marshall and I have been, um, I have the honor of being a consultant and working for um, Antelope Valley College. And I'm so excited to bring Teach for Antelope Valley to you today. This is um, the first time that we're doing this conference in Antelope Valley. Just for a little bit of background, just so everybody knows, we actually host this um, conference twice a year in Los Angeles. This, um, this conference also takes place in the Bay Area, and that happens twice a year as well. And then I'm really excited to share that just recently, Teach for Central Valley happened, and I had the opportunity of being a keynote speaker for that conference. And so we're so excited that Teach for Antelope Valley is here today, and that we are all going to be together for a day of professional learning, a day of networking, and a day of just really getting a good idea to make sure that this is the right pathway for you. Um, and just having an idea about what opportunities are available for those um, who want to be a teacher, want to be a counselor, anything in education. You're thinking about preschool. You're thinking about becoming an elementary school teacher, high school teacher, middle school, junior high. You want to be a college professor. You're in the right spot today. The, uh, the TAP program at Antelope Valley is created for anyone who's interested in being an educator or coming into the field of education. I want to give a shout out already to the people who are showing themselves on camera. I know that it is Saturday morning. I know some of you are still in pajamas and guess what? That's okay because this is a virtual conference. Um, we're just thrilled that you're here. If you are in a space or place at any point today where you are able to show your face on camera, please do. You'll also see that a lot of our presenters, they're going to want to engage with you today. So please don't be shy. Please make sure when they ask you to introduce that you say who you are and you, um, you know, just let us know a little bit about you. In the chat right now, I'm going to ask for everyone to please let me know what is your name? Um, what school are you at? If you're not at a school right now, no worries. If you are at a school, great, let us know. And usually by a school, it could mean that you're at a college student, maybe you and you're in teacher prep. Maybe you're at Antelope Valley College. Maybe you're at one of the LACCD colleges. Maybe you are outside of California. Guess what? In the virtual space, we all get to be here together, which is so exciting. And if you are not at a college right now, but maybe you're working for a school district, maybe you're a paraeducator, a yard duty supervisor, um, maybe you're already a teacher. That's fantastic because we have stuff for you today too. Um, so I just want to let everybody know, um, my name's Renee Marshall. I have had the honor of working in teacher preparation in the community college system for the last, um, goodness, oh my gosh, since 2004. And um, for those of you that are local who are on this, um, on this conference right now, I actually had the opportunity to serve at College of the Canyons, which is one of our neighboring colleges with Antelope Valley College. And um, just thrilled to be here, thrilled to be together. If everybody could please in the chat introduce themselves, let us know your name and your college or your school, but also let us know, what are you most excited about when it comes to Teach for Antelope Valley today? Let us know. Maybe it's you cannot wait to go see Brandon when he does his presentation on JPL. JPL, Jet Propulsion Laboratories, that's NASA, everybody. We have a NASA scientist here today who's going to be with us. We also have a panel of educators that focus on STEM in their classrooms. We have, um, we have people from early childhood education, people who are gonna teach you about how to become a K through 12 educator and what all the requirements are to get a teaching credential, whether it's multiple subjects, single subject credential, special education credential. And we're not gonna focus on this today, but I do wanna let everybody know, for those of you in the early childhood education space or considering that, just know that next month, the California Commission on Teacher Credentialing should be voting in a brand new credential. And guess what, early childhood educators? It focuses on 
PK to three grades. So all your child development, that can be your focus as you're um, completing your credential program. Anyways, we are so thrilled for everybody to be here today. It's really gonna be a wonderful, wonderful day. We already have 77 of us in the room at uh, 8.07 a.m., which is a great, great, um, you know, great show already, and we appreciate it. Um, I also want to, oh, I love, I'm looking in the chat right now, and I love to see what people are looking for. I love that somebody said, I'm super excited to hear about becoming a special education teacher. Right now, special education is one of the hottest areas, hottest areas of need um, for education. Also, bilingual education, also K through 12 education. We also need faculty right now. We need, um, one of the biggest needs we have right now is actually for early childhood educators. Just so everybody knows, by 2025, so we're really talking just a, a blip of time, we are going to change transitional kindergarten where suddenly every single four-year-old in the state of California is going to be eligible. It's not going to be like this little window anymore. So for anybody who's thinking about working with younger children, just so you know, in the next two years, we are going to need 14 thousand transitional kindergarten teachers just for one grade level and just to put that in perspective everyone last year the commission on teacher credentialing granted just about 16,000 credentials for every grade from tk to 12. so 13 grades needed 16,000 credentials last year in two years we have one grade that's going to need 14,000 people just for that grade anyways it is a time of opportunity it is a time of um, making change in education. It's a time of doing what's right and helping children to recover, children and teens and adults, to recover from the pandemic. You know, we're learning a lot about the learning loss. A lot of data has come out recently about the standardized testing in K through 12. I got to be honest, as a mom of two kids, I was surprised our system even tested the kids last year. The kids are out of whack, everybody. They need us a lot right now. And they need us in a whole different way than we've shown up in the past. So the fact that it's Saturday morning and you're here already, it shows me that you're the kind of person who's going to be showing up for the students in your classroom. And I want to say thank you because they need educators <clears throat> and they need educators who are going to help change people's lives. Um, I know that sounds dramatic, but I'm serious. It, this is, this is part, of, part of who we are and what we do as educators. I also want to just um, mention too, for those of you who are on right now joining us, and if you're a first generation teacher, first generation student, I want to let you know that one of our breakout sessions today is specifically focusing on being a first generation student. And I'm proud to say that that session is led by a first generation student who's now a professor in the community college system, and she's a fantastic role model. Anyways, I hope that today everyone finds something that's going to feel right. Um, that's what that's what Teacher Antelope Valley is. This is all about resources and getting things into your hands so that and networking so that way you're the best educator you can be. Also, a little bit later in our opening session today, I'm going to share kind of like a cool little thing that I've got coming up next week. It's kind of special plus for anybody who's here at the at the conference. So make sure to stay with us. We, we're going to have opening session for one more hour and then we have a five minute break and we go straight into all of our breakout sessions. So it's going to be a long day. It's going to be a fantastic day. Thank you so, so much for being here. Now, before we get going with our next speaker, I just I just want to have a second to um, talk for just a moment about Teach for Antelope Valley and the person who's leading this charge, Jane Bowers is a leader in education. And we're so lucky that she's situated at Antelope Valley College. Jane's gonna share with us a little bit about her story as an educator and how she got to leave the TAP program at, at I almost said College of the Canyons, Jane. <laughs> Sorry about that, at Antelope, at Antelope Valley College. Um, in addition to that, she, we're also gonna talk a little bit about just the origin of the program and how, thing, how, how did Jane kind of take over and what she's been doing with it. You know, Teach for Antelope Valley, it's a concept. When you run a conference and you create a conference, it's a concept. Jane came with the concept and said, Renee, I'd love to do this. How do we, how do we operationalize it? And so for months, Jane and I have been trying to figure out what would be the best topics, what would be the best speakers, what you try so hard to construct, what ideally would be the conference for the community. 
And so today we bring you the conference for our community. And I'm so, so proud to introduce my colleague and friend, Jane Bowers, who's gonna tell us a little bit about her journey as an educator. Thank you so much, Jane, for your leadership. And um, I will hand the mic over to you. Thank you so much, Renee. I'm so glad that we're colleagues and working together. It's been amazing. And producing this conference was a great experience. And I hope that everyone who attend today like it and find something that they can use later for their future careers or current careers. Hello and welcome again, everyone, to Teach for AV conference. My name is Jane Bowers. I teach mathematics at, here at Antelope Valley College. And I'm also a project director, as Renee mentioned, for the Teacher Accelerated Preparation Program, the program through which this conference came into life. I took the lead of this project last year when my dean, Christos Veriotis, he's here uh, too, and he's going to be uh, speaking later as well, asked me if I would like to work on this grant. This program is funded by Title V Federal Grant. I read the grant and I realized what an amazing opportunity this grant provides for the community to increase the pathways for those who would like to go into education. And I just knew right away that I wanted to be a part of it. My journey to teaching, my personal journey wasn't straight. I mean, I always wanted to be a teacher and when I was a little girl, I would sit my toys in front of me and I would pretend it's a classroom and I'm a teacher and I teach my toys. But it happened that after school, my parents talked me out of teaching. And so I went to engineering school. I grew up in Ukraine and the teaching profession there is not as secure as it is here in the United States. So my parents... I know they wanted the best for me, and my dad is an engineer, so he said, I will help you on your path to engineering, and I said, okay, so I went to engineering school, and after I got my master's in telecommunication engineering, my life took me in many careers. I worked as a project estimator in Ukraine, and then when I came to the United States, I worked for a construction company as well as a drafter, as a project estimator for a couple of years. But that was until my, my younger daughter was born, and I had a chance to stop and be with her for, stay with her for a year. It was rethinking, what, I, what do I really want to do? Do I want to go back to engineering or it, it was time, I thought it was time to do something that I always wanted to do. So I decided to go and get my teaching credential. I went to California State University, Bakersfield, here in Antelope Valley. We have a campus uh, to get my teaching credential. Then I got an offer to teach a couple of math classes here at ABC, and I agreed right away. I thought it was a great opportunity to, to try to do actual teaching what I wanted to do. I also, parallel to teaching at ABC, I worked as a substitute teacher for elementary school, middle school, high school. So I, I was in all uh, levels of schools and to, to see how, uh, how, how it works. And it was also interesting for me because the education systems are a little bit different here and uh, in the Ukraine. So I learned a lot by substituting in the schools too. So when I received an offer to take the lead for this project, I was very excited this opportunity because not only because I, so how much possibilities it opens for the community, but also it felt personal to me. I felt like this was my time to give back to the community, to those who are looking into education field, but maybe don't know where to start, or to those who are currently teaching and would like to learn more about it. You know, some people might try to talk you out of teaching profession because they might think it's too challenging. And yes, I don't disagree. At times it is challenging, but out of all professions that I had, 
teaching for me is the most rewarding. To tell you the truth, all professions have their pros and cons and their own challenges. And I like teaching also because it allows me to share my knowledge, what I know, what I learned. I believe that knowledge is the most valuable possession that you can have, something that no one can take from you. Also, knowledge is something that must be shared. It's like a glass of water. If the glass is full, it cannot add more water. So it has to be shared. And remember, certain parts of this path are going to be challenging, but don't let it stop you from becoming an educator. For example, my husband is a teacher too, and it took him time to try to pass the math portion of the CBES. My husband finally was able to pass the test when I started tutoring him in math. Now he's teaching. He's been teaching for um, over 15 years now. CBEST has two parts, English and math. For example, for me, the English part was the most challenging because English is not my first language. So I started with ESL classes here at AVC. I took ESL classes and then I took English classes and then I was able to pass CBEST. Then I was able to apply to the program. So don't let challenges stop you on your way to your dream career in education. Today's conference will have a focus on STEM education, but we also have many sessions on different levels teaching in elementary school, middle school, and high school. We have great presentations prepared from you from JPL, from the representative of various high school districts, and more. The TAP program is here to support anyone interested in a career in education. And I also wanted to thank people who helped and supported this conference. Rene Marshall, the grant consultant, Christos Valiotis, Dean of Math, Science and Engineering Division, and Dr. Zillet, uh, Dr. Jennifer Zillet, the president of Antelope Valley College for providing their support for this program and support for the community. Now I want to introduce to you Christos Valiotis, Dean of Math, Science and Engineering Division who wrote this grant proposal and who made this program come into life. Christos, 